Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, March 25th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. Hermione is over here giving herself a bath. And it is a beautiful day out. And I have with me this, this icon of St. Columba, who's sailing to the island of Iona with his disciple. I love how the saint here is looking rather concerned and loving over his disciple, and the disciple has got this look of ecstasy, as if he's finally found his teacher, finally found someone who can nurture him, give him a spiritual life that he's always longed for. So there's this smile on his face as he bows down before his master. I think we all long for that teacher, that someone who can give us the answers we've been longing for. And speaking of teachers, in the book of Jeremiah today, Jeremiah talks about how his bones are withering and he feels completely drunk because he is so devastatedly disappointed in other prophets. And his disappointment is God's disappointment. It seems in all of the scripture that there's nothing disappointing, more disappointing to God than people who try to lead others to God, but don't. For Jesus, it was the Pharisees and the Sadducees. For Jeremiah, it's these prophets who are not leading people to God. Some are leading them directly to Baal. They've already gone over to the dark side, so to speak, with the pagan gods. But some of them are claiming to be prophets, and yet they're, they're helping people get wealthy or helping themselves get wealthy, or they've become distracted, or their teaching is not true and good. And this makes God so angry that Jeremiah says God's presence consumes him until he feels drunk and is staggering around. God's anger is so, so vibrant, so vicious, so all-consuming. Why would it make God so angry when we lead people astray? Well, I can understand that. If our souls are precious to God and people lead others astray, I imagine that would be quite, quite a grievance that God would have. So for those of us, and I include myself, who try to teach people about God, we have to be very careful. We're treading in dangerous territory. Make sure that your message is one of love and acceptance, non-judgment. Be careful because hurting someone else's faith is offensive to God. Whereas building up the faith of others is exactly what we're supposed to do. Let us pray. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day we thank you for all the gifts that you've given us, and we thank you for our teachers, for those who have led us. We ask you to guide us as we try to lead others. Give us compassion and wisdom, caution and care. For we know that to lead others is important to you, and to lead them astray is very disappointing to you. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless those who are dying, the hungry, those who are in pain or lonely, addicted or struggling with mental illness. We ask that you would bring us peace to this world, to this church, to this nation. We ask that you would guide us today to do your work in this world, to cherish one another, to care for ourselves and for this planet, this beautiful planet that you have given us. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, the ultimate of all teachers who led us to you. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.